Okay, we'll so back. there's a bomb okay, so shelter under the barn. Under the barn. Which if you have a light that shows you, is a bomb shelter. Because the man that built this was an army colonel, and he was coming out of the Cold War, and back then they totally believed that nuclear fallout was a strong possibility. So he built this bomb shelter for his family that has um, a well, a toilet, and a sink. And apparently you could survive for seven years. Um, so we've decided we're going to call this place Skyfall. Because in the James Bond movie, yeah. um, that's where he, that was his home. So that's where you were supposed to go if you wanted to live through the worst of life. Like where you come to really um, live. Again. Is there a bathtub in the kitchen? Because then it would be just like my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, $3,000 a month while we're inside. There you go. Now, yeah, so what's, even, what's also really interesting, we'll talk about this with the horses present, we'll talk about with them, see what they think. So before this guy built this place, this town, Crosswicks, is an old Quaker town. Hi, ah, horses. We should probably move this is well. Okay, great. So, uh, before this was an old Quaker town, Crosswex, yes. built in the 1600s, this was actually um, an old Lenny Lenape town, and the word Crosswex mm. means separation. And oh, they're not really it. sure if it was the separation of the creek that comes together yes. and separates right here on this land, right. or the separation of camps. And they believed that it was the time where the boys and girls would come together and they would meet to be married, but then uh, they would have to be separate for a certain period of time before. So they would separate, they would train them to go on with their lives. So um, this is all the ridge where this was all happening. Oh, no kidding. Let's say, I don't know, 14, 1500s before the Quakers even came, before, you know, right. they came. So this is a really interesting. Uh, That's interesting very land. interesting history interesting history and land yeah and what's interesting to me the most is that my grandmother was 100% Lenny Lenape Indian was my father's right? mother but on my mother's side um, her father's mother's father so my great-great-grandfather lived in a house across the street and had nine children and he was a horseman meaning he drove a four-in-hand team of horses to Bordentown and then they would take the train into Philadelphia, and that was the Deku family, and they were bankers. So what's really ironic is that four generations from there is myself now who owns the land, yeah. which my great-great-grandfather used to work the land That's and incredible. for this man. So now, uh, you know, from both sides of my family, and you know, the Lenny Lenape were very confused when they thought they were selling their land. Yes because there, there was such a language barrier that they, they didn't. didn't understand that they were actually selling it. They thought they were selling like hunting rights or like, uh, like you were leasing it for a period of time. So a lot of times, um, you know, the, the British thought that they were buying land or the Dutch or whoever was coming over to purchase land, which they would have to buy that same land like three and four times because they didn't understand. So they would come back and say, okay, what are you doing here? We want to hunt and fish. They're like, well, you sold it to us. And they're like, well, they, Nobody really owns the land. Right, so we that, don't that, that wasn't even a concept in their. The spirit owns the land. Exactly. So that's. Nobody just, owns it's land. It's really, really, yes. you know, all of it's that kind of really of ironic it. and interesting. It is. So it hopefully, really is. you know, my intention of this land is to, is to create a safe space where people can come and be with the horses and heal and uh, become much more intuitive, much more aware of their life purpose, what they're here for, they need to be much more conscious. We're, we're, trading, we're, we're hopefully creating a space where there's a portal and you're going to be spoken to uh, from your best self. That's gorgeous. How's that? That is beautiful. <laughs> Sold. Okay, so let's go.